The driver of this fire truck is being hailed a hero after his quick action averted what could have been a major catastrophe when the engine was involved in an accident while responding to a fire. The truck collided with a jeep at the Welch's traffic lights in St. Michael before careening off the road, crashing into a tree and eventually coming to a stop perched precariously on these boulders. The jeep crashed into a car which had been waiting at the lights. The driver of that car, Michael Daisley, gave us this eyewitness account. I was at the stop lights here. The vehicle here was coming from that direction. The fire truck was coming down. I, I don't know if she didn't hear the siren, but the siren was on and she didn't stop. It was a full collision. Boom. Truck ended up here and the truck pushed her right down here on me. While he sought private medical attention, the female driver of the Jeep was taken away in one of three ambulances which responded. Chief Fire Officer Errol Maynard spoke about the extent of the injuries to the fire officers. We had four officers, um, two were injured, complained of injuries to the leg and the chest, and they are being sent to the QES for assessment. The other two are being sent to Sandy Crest Medical Center for an evaluation, but they are not complaining of any injuries at, the, at this present time. And then the vehicle here um, is probably written off, and therefore we don't have that one vehicle, we don't have, and we really short of vehicles right now. Minister of Home Affairs Wilfred Abrams, under whose portfolio the Barbados Fire Service falls, stopped by the scene on his way to the hospital to check on the injured. He's urging motorists to give way when they encounter emergency vehicles with the siren and flashing lights on. When we think of the dangers to fire officers, we think of fire officers being injured in the course of fighting a fire, right? Um, you don't necessarily, your mind isn't extended to them being injured in the course of getting there. And I want to echo something the chief fire officer actually said um, with respect to generally, and it's not prejudicing the, the facts of this case because I don't know them, right? But I've observed recently that the, the, the beacon and the siren don't get the respect that they require on the road. And there are a lot of near misses by emergency vehicles responding to emergency situations where persons, either because their windows are up or their, their radio is blaring or something they can't hear, or even some things they see and they still try to force an advantage. As for the original call to which the truck had been responding, a house fire in Tudor Street, the city, fire officials confirm another tender, this time from the Worthing Station, was dispatched. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.